What is happening? Welcome to another Pitcher Video Breakdown. My name is Nick Pollock, and we're going to talk about Tarek Skubal yesterday. He pitched on July 4th and returned from Dami John and was amazing. So I hope you had a fantastic July 4th. We didn't have a video because, of course, I'm not going to make my guys work on July 4th. And let's watch this. Here we go. So before Tommy John, guess what? He was sitting 94, 95. We expect a little bit of amped velocity the first start. That's fine. That's a really good one, by the way, up in the zone. Um, and let's see. Oh, we got a slider now at 88. Takes off his helmet. This is all kind of standard stuff. He's not really trying to get that slider. He was trying to get it kind of lower, but that's okay. Ochi, let's see how Scooble approaches us. Is it going to be a high fastball or a slider inside? 97. 97. Tarek Skubal sat 94 before his Tommy John surgery. This is 97. He sat 96 in the start. Guys, this is... That is very, very cool. Now you go slider down and in, or you go to a better fastball. Yeah, 96. So, so Ruiz was expecting a slider down and in. You normally don't see called third strikes that are low like this, but when you do, that means the batter was looking for something off speed. And especially after missing with a fastball upstairs, I've talked about the gambit being two breaking balls. But it also just means two fastballs, too. You miss with one, you normally go with something else, right? No. Scoople just threw down the zone. And especially because it was down as opposed to up, that was taking strike three. If that is up here, Ruiz is swing because if that's a breaking ball, it's going to fall in the zone. But because it starts low, he thinks it's going to go down as a slider uh, and it's not going to swing. And he's like, oh, no, it's too late. Yeah, and it froze him exactly right. 96 misses up and away. We normally do see that, uh, especially coming back early because you are too amped and your shoulders are opening up too quickly. We've talked about that before. So he throws a slider into the zone once again. Uh, there's another slider. That's a more like a cutter at 91. That's, that's hard. That's a that's a hard pitch right there. Uh, not something that's like 86, 87. That's difficult, especially if you think that's a fastball to hand. Um, that's cool. And you can probably go farther down and in. You can actually see the legs spreading out here, which is expecting a low pitch here. So let's see what we get. Oh, actually, no. Never mind. I take that back. That's a 98 mile per hour upstairs. 98. Tarek Scuba just hit 98, guys. He sat 94. Tiger get excited. That's really cool. So after fouling that off, you don't throw another one. Yeah, you got to throw something slower. This will, I'll, I'll let you watch this in full. This is a bad slider. That's 89 down in middle. Right? That's got to be out of the zone. He's swinging the all the way through. Uh, I, I say this a lot. Low breaking balls and two strike counts that are inside the zone are generally bad because batters are going to be swinging from the beginning through the end. They're not going to hold up. They are committed to it because it's if it, it was a fastball being inside the zone and then it's being inside the zone by the end of it means that they, uh, yeah, they're going to hit it. They're going to be swinging and that's a much easier one to hit than out of the zone. So you don't want to see this. This is a mistake from Scuba. That's why it was laced. Uh, but it just happened to go to a batter. Or sorry, to a, to a base fielder. I'm sick. If you don't know that, that's why I sound really weird today. I am absolutely sick. I didn't do anything for July 4th because of it. But it's fine. I'm here for you. Okay. Ah, uh, there's the curveball. I love Scuba's curveball. It is a huge, huge, big, breaking lefty curveball. I remember actually when he first came up, the curveball was the thing that got me excited the most. And uh, I, I do wonder if he can sneak that in a little bit better than this at 77. But... Really it's a good bizarre. pitch. I think it, the more that we see the pitch, I think the better he is. He's trying to throw it out. I believe that was a changeup at 87, not the slider. Um, 98. So he's trying to, I love the fact that he's trying to get his other two secondaries working um, as the curveball and changeup, especially with two outs. Uh, this is actually something, um, <laughs> this is going to surprise a lot of you, but I really, really, really like this. I, I want to understand, I want you guys to know the situation. It is bases empty, two outs in the first inning, okay? So where are the first two pitches to, to Rooker? First, Scoobal wants to go with the first pitch curveball. He has not thrown a curveball all game. And he doesn't get it. Okay. So what's his next pitch? Normally you think, okay, cool, this will be a fastball next, maybe a slider. No, Scoobal goes with a changeup, and he misses it. And you think, what, Nick, why do you like this? This is 2-0. Because this is exactly the time the pitchers should be trying to find their other pitches. It's something that, I remember as a, as a player myself, it would be, say, the third inning or so, and I hadn't really felt my changeup yet the entire game. So I need to have that pitch. I want to have it for other times to the lineup. And Scooble, in his first start back, is thinking, I want to see if I have my curveball and my changeup. It's bases empty. It's the first two pitches of this at bat. If I go in now and take a chance, the, the, the risk of this is as low as it's going to be. Because, sure, if he gets on base, it's still two outs, right? So, I love this. Go and find if you have it. Okay, fine, you don't. And you throw a fastball in there, right? And you readjust. I love this from Scooble. 
and I I'm really excited to see him back. Foul tipped. Ah, 98. Oh no, you missed. What are you gonna do now? You gotta throw a fastball in there. Yeah, and just hope for the best. I mean, it's your it, you know it's a first start of the year. Bottom of the first, two outs, three one count. Don't walk him. Don't make this longer than it needs to be. Just throw a fastball in there, and you got you got it right. Shadow right center. Uh, so all right, so you got the, the first inning school. We're gonna watch all four. Absolutely, you already know this from the length of the video. And this isn't a bad, this isn't a bad first pitch fastball. Sure, you want this inside, but Diaz goes off and get it. It's a good piece of hitting. He was looking for that, and I, uh, you know, found a glove. That's baseball. Missing once again. That's too straight to start this inning. That he's missing uh, away, and you guys know this. Shoulders opening too much. If I'm the the catcher, I'm saying, hey man, keep that shoulder in. Uh, I'll be like, focus on the shoulder, and I would go back inside. So I would, I, I kind of love this because you think, oh man, he's missing away with the fastball a bit. So you normally go to something else, find the release point. No, 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 no. I would, I really like the catcher saying, no, we're going to get this and you're going to make the adjustment. We're going to get through it right now. Um, especially when it's just an, a 1-0 count as opposed to a 2-0 count, right? Uh, and that's a, uh, I mean, it's at least it's a strike. I mean, it's down in the middle of 1-0. So, you know, be a little careful. Get it better. Ah, there's the changeup. That's a beautiful one, especially after the the fastball down the middle. Changeup going away like that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That's going to get a whiff every single time. That's beautiful. Now that you see him committed to his to a fastball, right? He fouled one off. He swung at that one. He chased the changeup because he wanted a fastball. Like you go to another secondary. He's fastball he's hunting, or you go super high, but no. Yeah. So he's way ahead of this slider, and it's inside, uh, which allows him to make more contact. I uh, I mean sorry inside and up right this is this is there for for Langoliers to get out in front and slap down the line but the fact that he's slapping it down the line just kind of shows that yeah he's very much beat so I would probably do another change up away um that, that's just me I uh, but you could maybe surprise him with the high here and maybe he'll be um surprised by it and not really knowing what to do Hang off early. but yeah he's on it you tried that he's on it I mean I know that's still in the zone you want to be above it but He's on it. You don't give him this. You give him another back foot slider. Or a change up. One of the two. Oh, man. It worked. Good. You went even a little bit higher up and uh, I guess a little bit harder to hit. You challenged him. You win. That's got to be a good feeling at 98. Woo. You blew by him. My gosh. I mean, that's the thing, though. That was like Langoliers. You got owned. <laughs> like, you're on a fastball and you still can't do it. That's a good feeling if you're Scooble. Oh, that's a good pitch. Oh, man. I, I will always get excited about fastballs hitting the top inside corner. Like this one, not even here, here. This is like the best pitch in the majors to me. A 98. Jeez. That's just a strike and dominance. Every, it's like a striker and out every time. Slider away is so good now. No, another one. You did it again a second time. But now he fouled that one back. He's getting better at it. You got to be careful. I mean, sure, you might want to go upstairs more, but slider away is the book here. Yeah. Good, 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 good. <laughs> good, 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 good. Uh, it's not even a good, that's a, actually a really bad O2 slider. Um, but you just got the strikeout, I know. But you want to, th this is very hittable. And if Noda is smart, the book, if you just follow the book, there'll be two fastballs and a slider. This is a massive hanger. You just wait a little bit longer and you stay on this. And that's a huge hanger. But because he's so primed for the fastball, you got him. That That's just a simple of like, I'm guessing you're not going to be on this. And that's that. And that was, but. I mean, also, it's not easy to hit a slider. I know, guys. Fast one side. I love that. Uh, oh, we had a pitch violation, so it's 0-2 on the batter. Okay, so it's 0-2 all of a sudden, which is a gift. I mean, I haven't really analyzed that before, um, but you've only seen one pitch now. So now you get to 0-2. Like, okay, he fouled off the fastball. I, I, I guess I throw a high heater or a down slider. What, which one is it? Down slider, beautiful. See, that's the good one. If he did this in the angle of ears, instead of that, he probably would have gotten a whiff on it. It was a foul tip, which is why it's like should be here, especially O2. Like, don't want to give him any chance. But yeah, beautiful. I mean, like, Scooble, okay, look, Scooble's fastball is destroying the athletics, and he has these good sliders, and he has like a good changeup and curveball every and so often. He hasn't had the uh, the, the curve yet. Two. There it is. First, uh, there it is. Get it in there. Uh, this is the eight batter, eight hitter. Same idea. He hasn't had his curveball yet. One out, no one on, eight hitter. Throw a curveball. See if you have it, right? Because you're going to need it for the for the second turn of the lineup. 
fastball inside. Okay, you can see also that like he's really and th with this one. Look at look at uh, Allen's reaction to it. It's not that inside. I mean, yeah, it's inside, but it's not. Um, it's not so much that I think that would be that tough a reaction, which means that you can beat him inside in this in this game. Oh, sorry, this one. That's a hanging curveball. And that goes foul, but yeah, he got he got fortunate with that's going into the bat, and it's hard to strain that out because it's coming in, 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 and you are going to wrap the bat around it. So it is hard to strain it, but yeah, sometimes that goes into the seats and uh, in, foul, in fair territory. So you got to be careful with this. But now, like, you go back and saw up and in, right? He's trying the slider. I... Uh, He's aggressive, but uh, yeah, it's the same idea. That's that's just too high up. Chopper I mean, was that like a changeup? Because look, they're getting situated down and away, which tells me it might be a changeup. They just, I don't know. That was a weird pitch. You go fastball up and in. Every pitch. No, fastball up and in. No, fastball up and in. Got so many weapons. That slider or that fastball. Ha! He did. I forgot. I didn't realize it was this up bad. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, th this is the whole thing I was telling about before about how he's looking away and even these last two I'm gonna sneeze. And I'm very sorry <laughs> But see these last two pitches Excuse me. I uh, Fastballs away, right? And you see that Allen is able to do that. He's able to stay on that. You gotta go back in Yeah <laughs> Yeah, that's what he did. He sneezed. Man, I'm so sorry I'm sneezing at the wrong time. But right, that pitch is so filthy. Uh, you're going to see it in replay, I think, here, maybe? Yeah, he falls over. Uh, Rob Freeman had a really good uh, gif on this one. Just kind of destroyed him, man. He did go around. But yeah, it just kind of shows of, like, the inside corner was so open for a fastball there, that entire at-bat. I was trying to get free real estate, and oh man, that's a fastball down the middle. That, that's such a gift, Kemp. <laughs> such an insane gift. I so I'm, I apologize for all the sniffling and everything. I'm I'm, I'm not feeling great, but I I yeah, want to do this anyway for you guys. I fastball. I mean, he's not hitting heaters like at all here. He's like, this is a terrible at bat from Kemp so far. So you can probably go fastball upstairs at this point. Ah, I got it down. Can't do that. That's a mistake, especially after you gave him the one beforehand, so he's more on it. Like batters get much better making adjustments inside of at bats when they get the same pitch twice in a row, like inside the zone. Like they foul one off, the second one they'll be better. In the air, and uh, this fortunately wasn't quite in the gap. You know, hung up high enough to to find the glove, but that's a mistake pitch. But 98 guys, 98. Guys, they keep trying to bunt against Scooble. They're trying to do something, I guess. But, I mean, Ruiz is super fast, I understand. But, yeah. I think that was a changeup again that he missed. So, that's interesting. That's probably another changeup. Um, it's hard to tell. Tigers are really bad camera angle. Um, but he tried to execute a changeup before, and it was, uh, it's also 86, which is a little bit slower than, like, the 89 we've seen on the slider. This is really nice. And it's really telling you that, like, Ruiz slider... Change up, change up. They don't want to give him a heater here. And you could surprise him with one now, but honestly, the way he's just swinging at that, he's still selling out for it. I would see if he can hold off. Now you've done that, but yeah, you go low again. Uh, that's not a bad slider. Let's see what we get. Oh, man. So 3-2. Scooble's just kind of like, all right, I'm not going to walk the guy. Like, make him beat the fastball, even though he hasn't done anything to the fastball. He's just been... Really, all the strikes have been secondaries, right? So, let's see. The right field line, but he got gift there. Oh, that's not in the zone. So, imagine if it was in the zone. How would Ruiz have dealt with that, right? So, you can't give him that. You got to give him a breaking ball. Nah. It's not going to work with a fast That's the thing. Yeah, you got to give him a breaking ball. There it is. Right? Like, uh, so that entire bat, they knew that Ruiz was on it. Was on the heater. And they didn't want to give it to him. And he saw ball four that he swung at. And then he saw, like, a close one and he swung at and he fouled those off. And, like, he's not going to let a strike fastball get past him, right? And if he's swinging at a fastball, Ruiz is going to at least foul it off or not pull him, put it in place. So if you don't want to take the chance of the ball in play, then you have to give him a breaking ball or, or a changeup or something. There's the 90-mile-per-hour slider that is so close and so good at 3-2 because that's not a strike. 
But man, is that a strike for about 99% of the way. One more time with that pitch. That's, that's a really, really good slider here. Oh, devastating. So good. Ah, bad changeup. Wow. At 1-0, you're swinging at that? At 1-0, you're swinging at that? You know, when you're thinking, okay, cool, I want to get a fastball and fastball hunting. That's the fastball you're hunting for? I'll feel... Swing every shoes for a fastball like that is you do not give him another fastball. Or if you do, it's got to be way out of the zone. Of the daily start. Yeah. I mean, they he, they know. They know. Yeah, like... This is this is too easy. Now you got to go fastball way upstairs. Yeah. Ah, oh, you got it down. Nice play by Skull, but good range. I was almost a hit. This was a mistake. If this is up, this is like up and out of the zone. Like he's trying to get it here, essentially. If he does that, it's strike three, and without a doubt, he's swinging through this. But because it's here, he gives him a chance. And that almost went through the hole. You know, good play. Nice play by Skull, but good range. You know, if Scope doesn't get to that, then that's probably a hit. Uh, good first pitch, free real estate there to Rooker. Love to see that. And they didn't really see the, uh, if you remember, it was two breakings to start last time for Rooker. He didn't know what he wanted to do there, Rooker. Um, he was kind of in between. Like, Probably, to me, I see a swing like that, and I think Rooker is likely looking for a breaking ball, but got excited seeing a fastball. So, what is that? I mean, I don't know how actually how to interpret that. Uh, he's probably still looking secondary, I guess, so you give him another fastball. <laughs> Because he's undecided about what One, to do with fastballs at this point. Oh, that hit his foot. That was an actual back foot slider, which is unfortunate because I want to see how that bat would actually end. But anyway, so first runner on. Still perfect. Just, or no hit, I guess. But um, there you go. You get, the, you get the breaking ball to end this uh, end this start for Scooble. Very good pitch there down and away. So, sorry for the lack of energy. I'm sick. So it is. Um, but Scooble... Uh, and that, you know, he's going to get that in second. We're all done there. Scooble's throwing hard. The fastball is really, really good. He's doing what I call the seven, uh, which is where he is putting his fastballs up or inside like this, uh, making a seven and going against righties that way. And really didn't see many lefties, but he is getting up here too, which is so nice to see with that fastball and going things off the plate with the slider. I love this approach of sliders over here. Changeups need to be a little bit more consistent. Same with the curveball for a strike. And there's still tweaks to be done about his command and stuff. But this is the first start back from Tommy John. He's just getting comfortable. Emotions are there. Probably going to see the fastball velocity fall a little bit because of that adrenaline of returning from Tommy John. And we only saw about 57 pitches. We didn't see 80 of them. So there's no fatigue coming in because normally we see fastball velocities drop as it goes on. Not everybody is Carlos Rodon and Justin Verlander. So really exciting to see this from Scooble. I love it. I really, really do. Um, there's still some work to be done. If this isn't the athletics, then he's you know probably a little bit worse. But uh, yeah, cool stuff here. I love Tarek Scooble. I'm a big fan, and uh, I'm excited to see more. All right, that is it. Thank you all so much uh, for your support. I hope this is okay, even though my sniffling and my sneezing, uh, I just can't get away from talking about pitching. So <laughs> doesn't matter. Another video today. All right, that is it. So make sure you leave a comment about who you want me to watch next. And that is all. So my name is Nick Pollock, and may your babas be low, and your strikeouts high.